What is being created here isn't a sculpture, it's a body part. More specifically, a nose is being produced through a process known as bioprinting. Researchers at the Federal Technology Institute, ETH Zurich, have come up with a way of using a 3D printer for cartilage transplants using the patient's own cells. The printer ink, as you might call it, is made of human cartilage cells and a biopolymer that serves as scaffolding. In this way, cells can grow in the form of new nasal cartilage. In reality, this could be used for reconstructive surgery or the printing of a new body part that has been injured in a crash. I'm creating the 3D models from the noses so that we can further 3D print this for the patient-specific shape and the size. Although some hurdles still need to be overcome, research director Marcy Zenobi Wong is confident that this method can be successfully implemented. So there's always a risk when one transplants foreign materials into the body, but we've really made an effort to use as base materials uh, products that are already in use in the clinics, so we don't expect there's going to be a foreign body reaction uh, with the bioink that we use. Um, the risk is really about the long-term stability of these, of these materials in the body. In China, research is going a step further. They're looking into the possibility of bioprinting whole organs like kidneys, but up until now, they haven't been able to reproduce the blood vessels and nerve cells that are part of a kidney. Will there be whole organs being produced by 3D printers? The scientist at ETH Zurich is sceptical. The kidney has dozens of metabolic functions and there is no printed organ that can, that can achieve this. Um, the problem with these organs is that they fulfill so many complex um, functions. Uh, and the advantage of working with cartilage is that it's primarily a structural material and one only has to um, fulfill this one criterion. The bioprinter developed at ETH Zurich has a better chance of being ready for mass production, with the first animal testing scheduled to start this year. Elsewhere in Zurich, at the Zurich University of Applied Sciences, Ursula Graf Hausner and her colleagues have developed a 3D printer to print human skin. This, however, is not suitable for use on humans. We have chosen to print skin, as it can be used by the cosmetic industry, where they shouldn't be conducting experiments on animals. So they can use this as an alternative. Printed skin lends itself particularly well to testing. Even though skin flakes produced in this way are not suitable for transplants, they replicate the function of human skin particularly well, so the response to cosmetic products can be tested. With 3D printing, we are able to position human cells very precisely, and then we can print layer by layer, as we can see here. We can then produce the hypodermic tissues and the epidermis. This enables us to replicate living tissues quite closely. There are big hopes for the future of 3D printing in medicine, but will they all be realised? Swiss researchers, at least, are hoping to be at the forefront of bioprinting research.